Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Abigail's Cryptid Tales, your favorite podcast for all things cryptid and, well, probably anything else you got made fun of for in middle school. My name is Abby, I'm your host, let's get into it. Now, if this is your first time tuning in and you've never listened to me before, once again, welcome, very glad to have you here. Feel free to stick around, you're gonna have a good time. But if you are a long-time listener, you've been with the channel for a bit, you'll notice this is different from my usual content. Namely because I usually post on Sundays, and it is currently Wednesday. So, congratulations, you are halfway through the work week. You're gonna make it, I promise. (laughs) But, in all seriousness, I've got a couple announcements to make. And don't worry, it's nothing bad. I know you people get in the comments, so just calm down. It's okay, everything's good. My usual content is normally about an hour long and we do Q&As, ghost stories, cryptid history, and while I want to keep all that to my regular channel, this is only going to take a couple minutes and I didn't want this to take away from the usual stuff. Now firstly, and most important, we still have a poll running on my channel. This started as kind of a running gag last week, but it's become a full-blown war between my subscribers and all my listeners. The poll currently running is who has the better ass, Mothman or Bigfoot? Now. You would think it'd be obvious. There has been quite the discourse in the comment sections on my videos. But you can still vote right now for this poll to put in your two cents. It is in my community tab on my YouTube channel. Literally, drop the screen down, go to the community tab, vote. It'll take you two seconds, not even. Go vote. Let me know your thoughts. I'll be announcing the winner of this poll this coming Sunday in the actual episode coming out this week. Now, our second announcement, and technically the more important reason that I'm making this video, is that I am officially moving. Now, don't worry, this isn't going to change much in terms of the channel itself. All my episodes for the coming month is going to be pre-recorded and make sure everything goes smoothly for the transition. But in terms of live streams, Twitter, anything other than the actual episodes every Sunday, I won't be as available because I will be packing up my entire apartment and moving halfway across the country. Now you might be wondering, Abigail, now, of all times, why? You're probably not thinking that, but I'm going to tell you anyway. So about two months ago, we did an episode on actual ghost towns. You know the deal. Towns that were abandoned by the entire population just left to rot where they stand. Usually haunted, usually carrying a lot of sinister history. It's an absolutely fascinating topic. I loved working on that episode. I was doing a lot of research for it, including looking up places to actually go visit in person. Now, a couple towns caught my eye, a couple places I'm actually going to be visiting in the next couple weeks before I move. However, there's this one town that I couldn't get off my head. It's this place called Glenwood. Now, the name itself ain't too impressive. I mean, It sounds like any generic name you'd pull out of a sitcom or a soap opera. But this place was pulling me towards it like a magnet. I can't really explain it. It's a small little town that wasn't even abandoned. It still had a thriving population, plenty of people coming in, going out. But the thing that caught my eye was that this place had no real estate. No listings. No apartments, no rentals, no Airbnbs, nothing. People were coming in, coming out using it as a road stop, but never actually staying for an extended period of time. It was fascinating to me. I could not stop thinking about this place. But every time I tried to do more research on it, it would just disappear. All of a sudden, the screen would just vanish off my laptop. I would get distracted. I couldn't actually focus on finding more about this town, even though I could not stop thinking about it. Well, a couple weeks ago, I just happened to be scrolling, and I found a listing. One listing, that was it. In the middle of this town, So I made the slightly impulsive decision to reach out to whoever was renting it. We talked back and forth for a bit. I asked him about the town. He told me what his situation was. And all of a sudden I was handing over a down payment. (laughs) Now, while this decision does seem very sudden and kinda iffy with the whole, you know, no listings thing, I agree with you. However, I've been looking to get out of my situation for a while now. This popped up and It's fascinating to me. I'm really excited for it. I'll be vlogging my entire process from packing to driving to moving in. And I'm really hoping you guys will join me on this. I think it's going to be one hell of an adventure. 
now. Until then, I will still be doing my usual content. I will still be doing the Q&As, listing out polls. Please go vote. But yeah, that is it from me in terms of this announcement video. I thank you guys for listening. Stick around with me. If this is the first time you've ever listened to my series, I promise I've got more episodes with actual content you're gonna love. Check out my playlist, check out my series. YouTube is still pretty new to me, but I got some really big stuff planned for it that I really think you're gonna like. Including making a build up to Halloween in October. Now I get it, October is still six months away, we got plenty of time. However, I wanna challenge myself and I wanna cover every cryptid from all 50 states. Okay, maybe every cryptid is a little bit too ambitious, but I want to cover all 50 states and talk about the cryptids. The unknown, the popular, all of them. So comment down below. Where are you from? What cryptids do you have? Local myths, legends, what monsters are crawling in your backyard? Either tell me about them yourself or send me out there and I'll do the research for you. I love that stuff. And if you happen to find one, bring it to me. I want to meet it. Either way, October's going to be great, but I need some time to plan. And you are going to help me. That being said, I will see you all on Sunday for the proper episode. But until then, stay comfy, stay culty, and stick around for what I got coming next. Alright, that's it from me. Bye! <laughs>